going live. I'm going to see if I can see myself on my iPad. I have it all charged up. Give me a second because then this way maybe I can read comments. Here I am. Oh, with that goofy hair. Ah, got cowlicks. Okay. Let's see. Melinda and Linda and Teresa. How come I'm frozen on my iPad? I'm trying something new. As long as I can see comments, I don't care if I can see myself crafting, right? Doesn't matter. Um, I'm trying it on Firefox because when I try it through Chrome, my um, comments disappear. So I'm trying it on Firefox through the iPad and um, like I said, as long as I can, my, I'm frozen as far as my screen goes. But as far as I can, you know, I can, oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's turn this down. There, now it's working properly. Oh. Alrighty, let's get this show on the road because we have got Karen Denning after me. It's from my palette to yours is her page. So after my live, you want to make sure that you stay tuned for her live during this um, segment and Karen's, we are going to be um, gifting a Halloween kit to a lucky person, and they are so fun to do. So um, I actually, I want to give you a sneak peek on a product we're going to have available possibly starting next week, but I need a name for it. I need a name for this. It's so cute. I showed a picture of this too. Karen, I was in Utah last week, or this past week rather, and Karen Denning and I are friends. That's who you'll see after my life. She thought it was absolutely adorable. Um, I have an idea for a name, so maybe I'll throw it out there and then you can say yeah, you know, yes or no, or come up with a name if I like it better. Um, maybe what we'll do is just gift you also that, you know, we'll do the Halloween kit rather. And if I don't see something I like better, maybe we'll just scroll and pick somebody randomly. So with that said, let me show you this so that you can start thinking of a name. You've got the whole hour, right? Or almost an hour. And then we'll get going. So I want this to be geared towards the kids, right? It's something you could do with your kids. And you know how there's Elf on the Shelf? Well, Lisa Ahmad had come up with an idea. She's like, if you could find an elf mold, maybe you could, we could do something like that. Well, I did. So I found this little elf mold. And what I ended up doing with it, and it'll be sold in um, mold separately, but I want to show you what I did. I have him sitting on a bench. So my first thought, I was going to call him like, bench Benny, right? Or Benny and his bench. I don't know. So, you know, start thinking about it. Throw some names out there. Tell me what you think. But it's going to be so cute, right? If you decide you want the whole little kit, you'll get the two, three blocks and two beads, plus the mold and some pixie dough. All right. So with that said, let me see if I can kind of keep him in an area where you can look at him during my live. Right, there we go, I can kind of see him. Can you see him? <laughs> I am going to have so many Christmas items that we're gonna, everybody, um, I'm gonna start base coating while I'm talking, how's that? So I've been told that it's never too early for Christmas. So if that's true, I'm going to start posting starting next week. I'm going to start posting um, our Christmas items. That's what I'm going to do, and I've got lots of them, so, you know, stay tuned for that. What I want to do is, originally I was thinking I would have a really big, um, like a Christmas bundle offering a lot of different things in it. But then I got to thinking, you know what? I think it's better 
to have several small items, right? Small kits, make them super affordable for all of you. And then you pick and choose the ones you want, right? You're not, uh, maybe there would be something in there that, uh, that you wouldn't use. So I kind of revised everything yesterday. I have been, you know, I've been traveling, right? You know, I was in uh, Italy up until two weeks ago. And then on Monday last week, I left for Utah and we just got home uh, Thursday. So and today's Saturday, so it's super hectic, right? And uh, so yesterday was my first day that I could really, really, really kind of sit down and think about our kits. I have a huge box all packed up for our daughter. For, you know, like, hopefully she's got enough room in her little work area because, wow, I got a lot. Got a lot. All right, so all I'm doing here is getting this board ready. Um, I don't even know why I'm doing as much as I am because it's going to be covered, I think, in some moss. We'll see. So today, of course, is our um, Halloween event, but it's also the month that we, it's right, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I did not have breast cancer, but I did have cancer, and um, it was just a rare kind that decided to lodge in my lung, which is one of the areas it will lodge in. So I just like to say it's cancer awareness. So my project is going to be Halloween and it's going to be cancer awareness. I hope what's in my head works out and that it's cute and not dumb, right? That's, that's the last thing we always like, oh my gosh. Uh, anyway, we'll just keep moving along. I'm gonna put this aside for a second, let it dry. And I'm, like I said, I think it's just easier to um, get all the surfaces ready, right? I'm not sure where I'm going with this one, but you'll see what it's going to be. So Jody, our artist brushes are made here. They are not from Italy. Our, um, our bigger, <clears throat> more furniture brushes are made in Italy. And we did not go for work this year. Uh, the last two times it was for my business, but this year it was strictly pleasure. We went to Sicily for a week, and then after that the Amalfi Coast, then, um, oh, and then Tuscany. Talk about a whirlwind trip. We were there three and a half weeks with six other friends, so three other couples, and it was fabulous. Definitely one of the best vacations I've had. But we did come back very, very tired. And then to turn around, like Mr. Pixie turned around the, God, we got home on Saturday. By Monday, he was already gone traveling again. <laughs> Hi, Beth, how are you? Gosh darn it. Yes, you were. Wouldn't that be fun to do a, a trip abroad? Years ago, when I lived in Vegas, um, there was a group that was doing a crafting cruise. I don't know if they still do that or not. I, I was um, too busy running my store, so I wasn't able to, to go, but... And at the time I wasn't into crafting, I, I was just strictly into furniture painting. But how fun would that be? Oh, Gwen, oh, okay, Gwen, you probably have heard me say this because I've told this a zillion times. So I tell people I should have died three times in 2015. God's just not ready for me. You know, once during back surgery when um, they weren't coming, 
Mr. Pixie thought something really bad had happened, and it did, but nothing that didn't get fixed. I was bleeding, I was kind of bleeding out during surgery, and uh, after my surgery, they had, during surgery, they gave me several transfusions, and after my surgery, several more transfusions, and then they got everything all fixed, and then, Prior to my back surgery, while they were doing lung um, like x-rays and stuff, that's when they found I had cancer and it was in my lung. And then my doctor, my surgeon for that, had told me it probably had been there for about five, or started five years prior. He said it was such a rare form of cancer, it was not aggressive, very slow growing, and I was very lucky. All right, so I'm trying to decide, maybe I do want a little more gray on this. I'm using Foggy Martini and Licorice on this. And hello everybody. I know, I'm sorry, I'm like, as usual, concentrating on what I'm doing and I just put too much Foggy Martini. If you have used our paints in the past, you know they go a very long way. And don't make my mistake <laughs> by putting too much. And actually, what I can do, and I might just do that, I think I'll take, I have a damp rag here, and I think I'm going to remove some of it. And it's actually going to maybe even give me more of a look that I want. Alrighty, so um, for those of you joining, I'll just keep repeating myself so that everybody has a chance, okay? Um, I'm looking for a name for my little elf and if we do this a kit so the elf needs a name and then maybe you can come up with a kit name you know whatever I was thinking like benched Benny because he, uh, let me tell you the story about benched Benny now he's not so much naughty as he is a prankster so I'm going to put this where you all can all see him, at least the best that I, is that better maybe up here? Wait, so you can see him closer. Okay, so let me tell you about him. So of course Bench Benny works at the North Pole with Santa. And he loves doing practical jokes. So one day or one week, right before Christmas, right? Santa's taking the reindeer out for their practice run, let's say. And when he gets back, he told Benny, you know what, Benny? Today is your turn. He kind of pulled Benny out of the workshop, Santa's workshop, and Benny loves being in the workshop. He would rather be nowhere else. So Santa said, you know, Benny, Really, um, to, you haven't been outside for a while, and you know, I think it's your turn to go ahead and give the deer some treats. They did really, really well on their practice run, and I think they'd love to have some carrots. So, Benny, being the, um, uh, the prankster that he is. And the fact that he really would prefer to be making toys instead of feeding the deer, he decided, well, he had a thought, right? He's like, you know what? I'll teach Santa to never ask me to do something again. You know, something like that. This way he'll keep me in the workshop. So Benny brings what the deer think are carrots, right? And they're white. So if you were to, if someone was to bring you a bunch of white carrots, what would you think they were? What's your answer to that? Because I can tell you this, they were not white carrots. And 
when Santa found out, he was not pleased to say that. Yes, Tracy Parsnips. Santa was not pleased. And he's like, Benny. Well, I'm going to call him Benny, but we might end up calling him something else, right? Benny, what were you thinking? You know, those are your friends. And Benny's like, oh, I'm so sorry, Santa. I'll never, ever be naughty again. So Santa, having the big heart that he does, decided, okay, I'm going to give you another chance. So he told Benny, all right, you know how it, everybody has to take um, their turn making treats for the workshop? He says, I am going to let you, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like redeem yourself, save face, and let you make treats. So, he goes into the kitchen and he starts scrounging for all the ingredients to make a chocolate chunk cookie. Except, you know, he needed to go get some chocolate chunks because they didn't have any. They had chocolate chips, but that wasn't what he wanted. He wanted a chocolate chunk cookie. So, he goes to the store, he buys some chocolate bars and comes back. Gets all his baking done and tells Santa, oh, I'm so proud of myself, Santa. I just made some chocolate chunk cookies for the first time and I think everyone's going to love them. Well, what do you think he made chocolate chunk cookies out of? I'm going to let you answer this one because yes, Patty, x -Lax, yes, he made chocolate chunk cookies out of x -Lax. He thought, okay, here we go again. Santa knows I hate being out of the workshop, so I'm going to teach Santa a lesson and I'm going to put x -Lax instead of chocolate and he did that and of course there were lines trying to go into the bathroom right poor those poor elves lines and santa goes to try a cookie and first he's not he's not getting it he's like what is going on here that everybody needs the bathroom so while he's down wandering and he sees a plate of cookies he goes to reach for one and and he's like, no, 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 Santa. No, no, you don't want that. Santa's like, but why? I love chocolate chunk cookies. And Benny had to be honest with him and say, Santa, I am so sorry, but I, instead of chocolate bars, I broke up x -Lax. And if you, those of you, you might be too young and not know what x -Lax is, it's, um, you know, makes you go to the bathroom, right? When you're constipated. So Santa's like, what am I going to do with you? Let's see if I can get this off. And uh, so this time Santa had a really, really good idea. And his idea was going to keep Benny in the work. Well, he didn't know yet what he was going to do. So he says to Benny, and again, we may pick a different name. Benny is what I've named him from the day one. Um, so we'll just keep calling him Benny. So Santa's like, Benny, you know what? I'm going to let you pick your punishment this time. So Benny's thinking and thinking. He's like, oh my gosh, I don't want to stop making toys because that's my favorite thing. Right? So, and he didn't want to give up his favorite food, which is peppermint sticks. He loved peppermint sticks. So he came up with this idea that would keep him in the workshop and 
at the same time though, because you know, all elves, according to um, the rules and the laws, they all need breaks, right? So even though Benny loved working in the toy shop, there are times that even his little legs got tired. So what did he do? He decided to make himself a time out bench. And he's like, ha 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 ha. Santa, Santa told me to figure it out for myself and I'm gonna make myself a time out bench. I'm gonna put it in the corner and I'm gonna be able to sit there and take an hour, whatever Santa wants, an hour break and be comfortable. No more like standing in corners if I'm a little naughty or whatever. So, no, not after taking the laxatives. Anyway, so that's how I came up with Benny and the Bench, but let's see what you come up with. Um, that's my story about Benny. And we will be releasing him. Oh, this week, I just realized I gotta, I think I better get him out in the mail on Monday to my daughter. So it could end up being the end of the week. But we have so much that we're going to release. You've all said when I brought it up earlier in, um, I think it was Amanda's Live, that it's not too early for Christmas. I want to make sure, I, you know, last thing I want to do is make anybody upset that I've overlooked Thanksgiving, which we haven't. Also, we have uh, a special kit. It's a Thanksgiving kit that Lindy and Lisa put together this time. And that is going to be released, um, I believe on the 15th of October. We're gonna see if that date fits their timing because they wanna do the live together to launch it and uh, that's exactly what I want them to do. Oh, I better keep an eye on my time, okay. Alrighty. Ooh, should I give our skeleton some black eyes? Let's dry him. So let's get everything kind of dried here. And then I might do that. I may give the skeleton some colored eyes. Let's see. Boy, everything's drying pretty quick. It's warm in here. It's always warm in this room. I don't know why. We'll go ahead and set the skeleton I want to keep showing you. The video has ended. Why did my video end? Hey, can you all still see me? Am I still here? Oh yeah, because I'm here. Oh my God, I'm so silly. So for whatever reason, hopefully, um, I don't know why it says the video ended on my iPad when we know it didn't. Didn't even touch it. I want to make sure I can see your comments. It might be Firefox. I just thought I would try something so I could hopefully see comments, right? Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, Josie. Uh, let's get out of that. Let's. Here we go. Okay, you guys are seeing my comments, right? I mean, you're hearing me all that. Yours should be good, and I can see your comments now. I'm just, uh... all right. Hey, Lindy. So this is going to be our elf. It's three inches once he's made. He is standing up, and what I did while he was, right after I cast him, um, actually even before, I, he hadn't dried all the way. I was able to bend him a little bit. But if you bend him right away to sit on his bench and glue him down, it'll be perfect. I just waited. It was kind of a last minute thought. So that's going to be our little elf um, mold. And you'll be able to buy the mold separately and you'll be able to buy the mold and the bench together and then the bench separately. Just in case you have more than one child, right? And I'm looking for a name for him. 
a name for the kit, you know, but more for him because we can kind of figure out the kit name if we have to with that. So let's, um, let's see if you all, you know, if we all think Benny is good, what I'll do maybe is we'll scroll to see who picked Benny. Or we'll just scroll and see what happens. All right, so this piece right here, I am going to decoupage. I printed this earlier, Kill Cancer, right? I told you that um, mine is kind of a take on Halloween and cancer awareness. So what I'm going to do is I want to use my gel, matte gel, ooh, if I get it open, there we go. I'm going to use my matte gel, I, okay, there's my brush, and we'll get that on here. And the reason I've decided to use a matte gel and not like, um, Meltdown or Force Field is they don't have to worry about um, the ink smearing. Sometimes it will on me. Sometimes it won't, but I, I didn't spray my, I didn't spray. Some, if you spray this with hairspray, it helps set your ink, and I did not do that. I forgot. So we'll just use this this in here like so and I'm gonna tap it in I have an old shaver um, I'm gonna go ahead and just tap it in there right I don't want to rip my paper there we go all right all right so that worked yay Hey, Betty, love the mold. I do too. Actually, um, we are going to end up having, I'll tell you how many new molds. Oh my gosh, for Christmas. probably be the only kit just because I thought it was so cute to have him on the bench. So we are looking for a name. I, again, I, I still like the name Benny. So we may keep it that name and what I'll do is for all of you who, um, who comment on what name you would like. I will just pick somebody, whether we use your name or not, and we might, who knows? All right, so what's next? Get that all, and, oh, get that in the water. So, we're gonna move him over. And this is what's next. I want to turn, <laughs> I need to turn my glue on. Yes, Debbie, I really went all out this Christmas. And I just wanna mark this side because I want to do, that's why I didn't really need to go wild with this. I have an idea, if it works, I have some moss or something I want to put there but I did want to make sure my background was kind of the color of it and I whoop, make sure this does not have to be perfect I just want to make sure my little blocks don't go past um, my wood at the top there that's all so remember after me you want to stay on and refresh the page you want to watch Karen Denning from um, oh you know what I'll paint this black well we're waiting for the glue gun to heat up 
I'll paint it licorice just to kind of go with the top of that, or the, that piece of wood. If I could only talk straight today, right? Alrighty. Let me make sure I don't, really the top wouldn't even need to be done, but it, it would look better just in case you see some areas that might show through. I definitely don't need to do the bottom. There's that. Hello, Ruth. Hi, Kelly. How are you today? So good to see everybody. If you could sprinkle the love, I would really appreciate it. Splatter out the paint as my friend Catherine, or did she say, I think she used to say splatter the paint. Alrighty. I am hoping, mm, wait a minute, wait a minute. I might have to, oh shoot, I'm gonna have to measure this because I'm putting something else down and I want to make sure I leave some room. All right, so I never, I bought this, I bet you I bought this over a year ago. Cat, yes, you are absolutely right. And that's what Karen told me originally I was going to sell the Elf Etiquette. And Karen made a really good point to me when I saw her this week. She's like, you know, Josie, someone might have several children, right? And they don't have to buy a mold and a, you know, I mean the kit for every child. They only need one mold. So she had suggested that, um, ooh, this is a mess, isn't it? She had suggested that I sell the kits separately, and I think that's a great suggestion. Eek, this stuff's a mess. Oh my gosh, so what do you do to keep this stuff together? Uh, I mean, I like the, I, I like where I'm going with this idea. Right, kind of looks like the grass, but what a mess. Anyway, so, hey Pam, how are you? Hairspray, okay. <laughs> Benny the prankster, could be. Um, boy, so do I just put a bunch of hot glue down? Let's try it. My first time using this. Oh my gosh. Oh, I know, I, I wanna be, I'm gonna do that, right? Okay, need another glue stick. Alrighty. Oh my goodness. Josie, you have made a huge mess. <laughs> I don't think this is going to turn out the way I had hoped. I do have a spray sealer. Would that work? Because I need to do this on both sides. All right. May as well just get it done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just glue and hairspray. Okay. I'm asking for more paint pixie items for Christmas. Karen, we're going to have a lot. And right now, our four pack is back up the way it used to be because more people are asking for paint. So it's three magical chalk paints and one liquid pixie dust. $32. Mm. 
maybe this wasn't the right, right? Maybe what I needed to do was use a, a glue that I could have like painted on. <laughs> this might be a silly, oh my gosh. I have to laugh at myself sometimes, right? down to my last two glue sticks I think but I have like miniature I've got a miniature uh, glue gun that I really want to use up all the glue sticks for so or with and using that not this life I think I have enough to finish my life here okay don't have my hairspray with me right here. So it's going to be a little bit of a mess. Okay, let's... All right, so... This is what... Oh, I have to glue my... My blocks on, right? So... Let me find my line. Okay, I have a line here. And here. I don't think it's really going to matter. I, well, I think the line is going to matter. Here we go. I'll put that there. there. All right, so oh, now I'm thinking, see where I'm going with that? Kind of like a hinge but what I can do is glue the hand right okay we're gonna glue the hand and I was in Salt Lake I'm doing great life's great can't complain and if I complained nobody would care right well I'm not gonna say my friends would care so again we're just looking for a name for him my name I keep calling him Benny benched Benny um, that's his timeout chair that he made because Santa, he was naughty, and Santa told him he needed to figure out his own punishment, and he, he fooled Santa and made a timeout chair. Okay, so I've got to glue... A hand, right? Oh, I have 20 minutes. I gotta hurry. Glue the hand. I think we're actually making pretty good time here, even with my Benny story, <laughs> right? ribbons I got last year I think on Amazon maybe the year before actually not even last year the year before they came in like four different ones and I think this is the one I want to use this time all right so I think we're going to glue it right there what I like about this particular ribbon, it has angel wings, and you all know I love my angel wings, right? I don't know if you can see them, but there are angel wings on there. Okay, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Alrighty, 
so need a dot of glue there. Now it's hot. Okay. Then a dot of glue in the back. Pinkster Pixie. So I'm going to glue this down here. Oh, you know, I think I'm actually doing better in time than I thought. Okay, I'm not done yet. I have a few more things I want to put on it. Okay, so what I see, this is representing Cancer trying to come out of his coffin. And we're saying, kill Cancer, right? We do not want it. Go away. And we slam the coffin top right on top of that hand. So, next, just because it's... Oh, I'm not. What am I thinking? I forgot about my skull. Um... Let me grab some pixie dough. It's Halloween. Uh, come on. Okay. I may have to oh, go a little quicker. <coughs> I do want to I think I want to put Spider here. I've got a cute little bat. I can just, right, kind of just put that there, put the spider there. We've got a ribbon with that. A ribbon, sorry, um, roses. Roses, roses. And there's the other spider if I want to use that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Maybe we'll put him kind of like he's going to, ooh, maybe put him, what do you think? Put him on the, put him on here. Maybe? Hmm. Like he's crawling down there, right? What do you think? Like he's crawling down? Can you see it? Uh-oh. Sorry, I lost my picture on my iPad again. I'm just trying to see. I'm thinking maybe crawling from that corner. Right? Oh shoot, I didn't even think about that, Penny. Well, it's not dry yet. Like that? Like that? You can always do something there. Okay. So, I hate that. My, I lost my picture. I use that to see what you can see. Okay. I just... Let's see if I can... Oh, man, that's big. That's not what I want. I want to see comments. Now I'm going to lose my comments. Hmm. Come on, Facebook. And we have 15 minutes. I'm seeing it, I think, from the watch page. So this is what I'm thinking. I want to make, like, 
Oh, that's what I was going to do. We're going to stick some more of this in the head. Yeah, what a mess. What a mess I have going here. Let's see if we can bring this back. Otherwise, I've lost your comments. There we go. Okay. I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. Right? Can you see that? All right. So, maybe... use some figgy pudding. Oh, good thing I've got a vacuum cleaner, Melinda. <laughs> really expensive one. Right here in my craft area. I'm trying to see. Sorry, it's hard for you to see, I know. Um, I think it may be add some purple. Purple worms, I don't know. I'll go back with black. Black worms, black and purple worms. Maybe coming out of his head. That's sticky. Let's see. I'm trying to think if I have all the important components. Oh, I kind of like that. Oh, I like that. I like that. Maybe purple and black. It kind of looks like a horn. You, Elizabeth I appreciate that I have been fretting about this all week trying to think of what could I do for my segment oh look at that it looks like a oh it looks like the devil Maybe the devil's like his little horns, right? Oh. Oh, yeah. Maybe like we killed the devil and it's his skull. Oh, I like that. What do you think? Like I killed the devil and it's his skull? do I have? No, I don't think it's going to sit up there very well. Maybe over here? Maybe with the hand? Right? Oh, yeah. I just messed up my skull. Because, you know why? I had wet paint on my hands and I lifted it. So I'm gonna to have to fix my skull after. Oh, shoot. Let's see if I have enough time. I have 10 minutes. Yeah, I never do this. It's on plastic, which is fine. I should have done a thick coat, but I've had wet hands. Wet, ow. Ow, ow, wet feet on my hands. So I'll probably have to go back. Let's see if I can kind of fix him right now. There. Yeah, it works. 
Yeah, don't don't have wet paint on your hands. You'll pick up your paint. Okay, I was able to pick some. My my hands are still a little damp. Follow your own directions, Josie. Okay. I I keep thinking purple eyes. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, you know, it'd be really cool. I don't think I'm going to have time on this live. Um, I could put gems in, like rhinestones, in his eyeballs. Thank you, Maureen. Okay, I'm going to turn it just so I can see. I'm going to want to do something with these flowers. So, should the skull be Josie, sitting like on the top or I'll have to go back and touch him up. I keep touching him. Or there. Ouch, ouch, ouch. What do you think? Should he be here? Here? Over here somewhere? By the hand. Up here? By the hand? Luke? Luke. <laughs> Vicki? Wait, yes, what? Next to the hand. Over here? In the corner. Tell me, in the corner above the hand? Or on top of the wood? Next. On top of the wood? Where I had it? Or where it's at? Oh, okay, put the hand on your, okay, grass, there we go, Pat, grass or wood, okay, top corner, right where it's at right now, where I have it, okay, that's where it's going, that's where it's going, my final answer, okay. Alrighty. I want to go ahead and I think glue my flowers so they stay put. Right? Ah, I do have another spider I haven't used. What if I put the spider over here? right there. Does that make it look spooky? I'm going to have to remove that. Uh, I got the skull. Where did I get the skull? Oh, it came in a package of four Elizabeth at the Dollar Tree. Okay, right there. Our Dollar Tree does not have all the cool stuff that a lot of yours do. Let's see if it'll stick. Uh, here, I'll try something here. Let's try something there. Wow, that glue is so hot it melted the back of that um, spider. All right, so I think we have accomplished what I was trying to do. And now I have to see where am I going to put this little guy? Maybe my coffee table. What do you think? All right, so now what I want to do is look at 
let's do this. Let's scroll for the Halloween kit. We only have five minutes. Then I'm gonna go through all the names after the live and look at who's going to be gifted an elf. How's that? An elf kit. Whether I pick your name or not, I am going to gift you a kit. All right, so I think I'm better off doing it this way. Let's see. Oh yeah, on the iPad I can only see so many. Scroll, scroll, scroll. I'm gonna stand up in that way. Whoop, I don't see anybody. If I pick your name, make sure you message me. Gwen Johnson, you get a Halloween kit. Congratulations. Um, message me if you want the banner or the six by six boards. I know I have your address, so that shouldn't be an issue. Everybody else, I'm looking for a name. I keep calling him Benny and I keep calling him Bench Benny because he got benched. It's his timeout chair that he made for himself. So whether, you know, if you like that name, put that in the comments or give me a suggestion. And whether um, I use my original name, since I keep calling him Benny, or I take, I find a new name, um, somebody is going to be gifted one of the little kits, okay? Um, we have three minutes. Why don't I let you go? This will give you a little potty break between, make sure you um, come back, refresh, from my palette to yours, Karen Denning is on next, and she's a fabulous artist. And actually, she is going to be painting with her uh, little granddaughter today. So that'll be a lot of fun. So if you've got your kids around you, they might be interested in watching Karen and her little granddaughter, right? And they get inspired. All right, then. I will be back here at 2 o'clock watching Karen's live. 2 o'clock my time, not your time unless you're on the Pacific Standard Time. Anyway, thanks everybody. Love you all and um, I appreciate you all being here. I really, really do.